Korean actors who underwent the worst medical conditions. The lives of Korean actors might appear dazzling and glamorous. However, just like every human being, they too may experience difficulties in their lives, from illness to family matters. Those hardships can unravel their unwavering resilience, but sometimes can negatively affect their careers. Join us and witness these inspiring stories. Number 5. Kim Woo Bin it was 2017 when the actor first learned about his illness. Back then, the star was filming the movie Wiretap after having gained his first leading role in 2016's Uncontrollably Fond. On May 24th, his agency announced that Woo Bin noticed an abnormality in his body while juggling multiple schedules and amidst his busy schedule, he did visit a hospital. After the examination, he was given a cancer diagnosis. It was added that the actor will focus on his treatment to be able to return with a healthier image. While Wubin's career skyrocketed at the time, this statement left fans in shock and sadness. During the time he received treatment, the actor's girlfriend, also a famous actress, Shin min -ah, had always been there for him. She even accompanied him to the hospital, where he needed to receive chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Soon after his diagnosis, Wubin and his agency gave updates about his health, saying he completed all necessary treatments and is now going through follow-up examinations to make sure he's fully recovered. Coming to 2019, he was able to make his first appearance in public after two and a half years of a hiatus at the 40th Blue Dragon Film Awards. Before presenting, he thanked everyone who supported him and prayed for him. It was revealed that he's in talks for a movie, Alienoid. In the same year, the actor became a narrator for a documentary, Humanimal, and had a fan meeting in which all profits would be donated to help children with cancer. In 2022, when his first movie in six years, Alienoid, finally premiered, Wubin announced he's all clear from cancer. An earlier omnibus-style drama, Our Blues, marked the actor's return to our screens after his cancer treatment, saying he learned to compliment himself and cherish things that he has now after his illness. The actor has lately appeared in the highly rated Netflix drama Black Knight and will reunite with his former co-star Susie from Uncontrollably Fond in a new fantasy rom-com by the glory writer Kim and Suk. We can't wait to see them together again. <laughs> Number 4. Park So Dam. Sodan wasn't as lucky as Wubin, and she experienced more difficulties until getting her diagnosis. On December 23rd, her agency announced that the actress was diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer and had surgery. It was also said that she couldn't attend any promotions of her new film, Special Delivery. Premiered back at that time, she would focus on her recovery. This year, the actress opened up about the process she's gone through and spoke about how her health deteriorated day by day while she was filming the movie, Phantom, how she was diagnosed diagnosed and her current health status. While filming, I didn't know my body was in pain. I just thought it was burnout. It was the first time I felt afraid to go on set. I think my body was sending me a signal, but I just thought of it as a mental issue. I felt so apologetic toward the director and my seniors. After filming, I even cried because I felt apologetic, she said. The actress also shared that she had to deal with her cancer symptoms, not only while filming, but also while dubbing her part and how this led her to become anxious about her performance. She said that while waiting for her body, biopsy results, she did her voice recordings for the movie. But if she would be a bit late, she would have been unable to do recordings because of her worsening health condition. Even though Sodom still couldn't totally gain her stamina back, she's gotten so much better compared to the beginning of the process, she said. The actress will also make her small screen return with Death's Game, starring alongside Songbook. We wish her a full recovery. <laughs> Number 3. Dong Il Woo the actor confronted two different and severe medical conditions with only a seven-year gap. In 2006, he had a huge car accident with his childhood friend and fellow actor Lee Min Ho, along with two other friends while they were going on a trip. The accident was such a bad one that two of their friends riding in the front didn't survive, and the two actors had to stay at hospital for months. Just before the accident, Il Woo had an audition for the hit sitcom Unstoppable High Kick, which made him very popular later on. The actor suffered from a broken wrist, cracked left pelvis, brain hemorrhage, and even slight memory loss for almost half a year. He even forgot parts of his past, like how and where he met a certain person, and so the actor began to accumulate photos and videos from his daily life to preserve his memories. Having the accident without even knowing that he passed the audition, Ilwu nearly couldn't star in the sitcom because of the accident. But he was lucky for not only surviving the accident, but also for appearing in the sitcom. Because while the actor was under treatment, the filming got delayed, and thus he was able to join the 
the cast. Coming to 2013, Ilu began to have frequent headaches. After a medical examination, he was diagnosed with cerebral aneurysm, a weakened blood vessel wall, resulting in an enlarged artery, which later may lead to stroke, coma, or even fatality due to rupture and subsequent bleeding at the age of 27 in 2016. Regarding this, the actor said it was like having a ticking time bomb in his head that he didn't know when that it would explode. After being diagnosed, he couldn't go out and stayed at home for nearly a month, as he said. However, the actor fortunately was able to adopt a new mindset of enjoying the present, having controlled examinations every three months. For his aneurysm, Il Wu recently starred in Good Job alongside SNSD's Yuri. Number 2. Um Jun Hwa Netflix's most recent hit drama, Dr. Cha, stars Um Jun Ha, another celebrity who had to fight against cancer, essentially being the Korean Madonna and one of the most influential women in the Korean entertainment industry, especially back in the early 2000s. The actress was diagnosed with thyroid cancer during her regular medical examination in 2010 and had surgery as soon as being diagnosed. Finding success in both singing and acting, Dong Hwa even had to take a break of eight years because of one of her vocal cords paralyzing. Returning to music in 2017, Dong Hwa shared about the obstacles she faced and said, actually, I didn't talk about this before I made this album. I thought there might be problems if I revealed that I hurt my throat and so I just endured them by myself. One of my vocal cords became paralyzed and I couldn't talk for eight months. Months. Coming to 2022, the actress was back to the small screen with Our Blues and this year starred in Dr. Cha, which became another hit, starting from its very first episode. When the process of her illness and recovery came up again in a show she was a guest on, the actress said she overcame the cancer and her voice was getting better every day. She also asked the viewers who don't know her illness to not be worried about her voice because that's just how her voice sounds now. Number 1. Moon Gun Young the nation's little sister had once become the youngest recipient of the grand prize at the SBS Drama Awards at the age of 21. Moon Gun Young gained a reputation after starring as the youngest version of Song Hye Kyo in Autumn in My Heart, starting from the time she rose to fame. However, a disease finding her at that time changed everything for her irreversibly. It was first revealed when the actress had to cancel her appearance in the theater play Romeo and Juliet because of an emergency medical procedure. According to the statement her agency issued, Gun Young was diagnosed with acute compartment syndrome that occurs after traumatic injury to a facial compartment and can cause severe pain and numbness. The disease requires immediate surgical intervention as the pressure within the compartment reduces blood supply to muscles and nerves. Unfortunately, one surgery wasn't enough and Gun Young underwent four surgeries until being released from hospital. Her agency later made a statement saying that she would require continued treatment and rest until she was fully healed. This resting time became almost a two-year break from acting, and during this time, the actress gained some weight and rapidly aged, even though she came back to the small screen as a documentary director in 2018, and then appeared in 2019's Catch the Ghost and 2021's drama special, Abyss. Gun Young will make a cameo in Netflix's dark fantasy, Hellbound Season 2. We wish her the best of luck, and we still think she's so beautiful. That's all from us today. Their stories inspired us to face challenges with courage and determination. Which one of these stars impressed you the most? You can let us know in the comment section down below.